Okay, arriving at the Bystrutska in Banska, right in the city. So it's a little bit of urban fishing, although nice trees and things around about it, you wouldn't notice too much this time of the year. Water's pretty low. Today I'm trying out a seven foot uh, dry fly rod. Usually I use my eight foot here, which is I think the ideal length. But I bought a couple of years ago, I bought a seven foot and I've hardly used it, so good to try it out. This is just a relaxing little session. I've just fished two days in the heroin. I'm heading home to Bratislava. I'm going to watch uh, Slovan Bratislava tonight, playing against Limassol from uh, Cyprus. Hopefully it'll be a good game, get out with friends. Oh, nice. On a little dry fly. Oh, it's a nice fish actually. The shallow water. What have we got? Nice brown trout? Yep. Oh yeah, I put my waist net on. Thinking I'm only catching little fingerlings, but that's actually a nice brown trout. It doesn't look like a stock, it looks wild, fat, and wild. Now I need to get this right. Beautiful spotty for this small stream. The dry fly, which is a little clink hammer, a bit bigger than I would use normally. I know I was fishing for trout today, not grayling, so. I upped my fly size. As you can see, it's like a meat hook. And finally, I got that little fish to take. It's a bit more, but I put on something to like. What have I put on? I put on a smaller, all black clink hammer. Just like a little beetle dropping off the trees. Just had a very silvery fish just try and smash my fly. It might not come back. I hooked it. I got off, so I reckon it was a little rainbow. <laughs> Samo the leaper. Ooh. Flicked my fly over into that little run, running down by the weeds. And Samo the leaper jumped on. Beautiful little brown trout. Yep, it's still here. Still catching. Crazy brown trout. That one hit me like an express train. Ooh. There is big fish around here. I'm going to get to the pools that contain them soon. There we go. Fish holding the cunt. Oh, he's off. Nice size of fish as well. Yeah, I've been cooking and missing fish the right and centre. Not actually physically landing any. But now we're coming to these long run pools. I might need a little bit of distance casting here. It's perfect deep holes the whole way down there. I'm sure there's fish sitting in the back. Just not getting tempted by this fly. There we go. Nice fish. That's a nice berry. And it was tempted by that fly. Okay, hands in the water. Fish off. Beautiful little fish. You can see the tunnel up ahead. That's where it starts running under the motorway. <laughs> I've been through that tunnel before, thinking, whoa, that's going to be fantastic. Forget it. Don't, don't bother. Oh, just cast it right up to that tree that branches from the water over there. Just as the fly just come off it. Okay. Nice fish. 
Again, nothing to write home about, but beautiful brown trout. Oh, yeah, no, well, that's that's getting better. Yeah, getting better as we got the stream. Oh, little fat one, little fat one. Red spots, absolutely gorgeous. I stroked a fish out of it. I had one go at it and then it came back. A little rascal. <laughs> some of them like the, they're like tigers, some of these little fish. I'm gonna get that food. It's getting away from me. <laughs> Rough to keep out of that tree. What oh. <laughs> jumped over the tree? <laughs> oh. That's a rainbow. And you know, there's no way to stop at the size of rainbows. How the hell is perfectly thinned? The hell is that? Colours, the fins, it's like a nicely wild fish. Here we go. It's a brownie. Oh God, we're back to brownies. Oh, another nice brownie. Oh yes, we need some forceps. Hold on, doctor. I will get the forceps. Thank you, nurse. Delicate operation, nurse, but we managed to save that patient. Put the fly under the trees. Yes, under the trees. Oh, there we go. So there was a fish sitting under the trees. A decent fish at that. Some brown trout. Nice fish. Nice, nice fish. Beautiful golden. Beautiful fins. Just trying to get the angle right. I've realised I've been showing a lot of fish to the camera. And they're above it. <laughs> Just no good. You see, taking a little bit of its fins. So, how do you cast? When you're casting straight, how do you get the fly to bend? do it with practice. I would find it hard to explain how to do it, but you can mend the fly so it ends up under the trees. And your line's coming out and the current, but the fly's actually under the trees. I'm not, I'm not a qualified caster, so I don't even know what that cast is called, where you get the uh, fly going sideways. It's, but it's easy to do once you've learned it. I'm literally casting that fly two metres in front of me. That nice fish took it. Hey, calm down, calm down. Coming off. Okay, I'm fishing with this tree right in front of me. So, two nice fish and lost both in this really fast water. What I've got to do is, <laughs> I've got to look for the branches. Yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding here. I'm going to look through the branches to see my fly. Because that's the only way I can see it. Oh, it's getting drowned quite a lot. It's fast water, but there's fish there and I've taken it. Missed another one. Oh, there we go. Next <laughs> one. Oh. He's off. 
wasn't what I wanted to show you when I said well I'm trying here first because I'm passing it oh another one and the fish are just sitting off the current there on the other side I'll just drop that one off flip off flip off okay casting into that little pocket there just in front of it a beautiful brown trout it's a really spotty one. Oh, he's off. I wanted to show you. He really was a beautiful spotty fish. I was just going to lift him. The fly came out. He slipped through my hands. Eye on the fly right away. It's not always easy. I'm sure there's many more fish. It's just you're too fast to catch them. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Just, oh, hooked right in the scissors of the lip right away. 